On the 4th of November, 2023, I had a vision that prompted me to share it with everyone. Additionally, I reached out to my spiritual mentor in another state, who prayed for me over the phone, asking for discernment regarding the vision's meaning. While I acknowledge that visions can sometimes be personal, this particular one felt exceptionally significant and direct. Consequently, I took a leave from work due to my condition, viewing this time not as an opportunity for leisure, but rather for reflection and deepening my relationship with God. Given that my job often encroaches on my prayer time and exhausts me to the point of missing church services, I've faced challenges with my supervisor and colleagues due to my unwavering faith. I've been cautioned against discussing religious matters at work, prompting me to utilize my leave to focus on spiritual growth. During one such moment of study at home, I stumbled upon a passage from Galatians 1 verse 10 that resonated deeply within me. The verse questioned whether I sought to please people or God, highlighting the conflict between seeking validation from others and serving Christ wholeheartedly. This revelation struck me profoundly, reminding me that my worth and identity should be anchored solely in God, not in the opinions of others. As I delved deeper into the passage, I felt a stirring within me, prompting me to pause and rest. Alone in the house, I found myself contemplating the significance of the message and the importance of aligning my priorities with God's will. As I drifted into sleep, a peculiar sight unfolded before me, my ceiling seemed to draw nearer, threatening to collapse upon me, while everything spun at an alarming pace. In an instant, I found myself transported through a portal into a grim landscape reminiscent of a cemetery. Surrounded by a vast multitude of mourners, clad in somber black attire like those around me, I felt strangely robust. As I navigated through the throng of mourners, I couldn't shake off my bewilderment at the unfamiliar surroundings. The atmosphere was heavy with sorrow, yet I remained untouched by the grief that gripped the others. Despite the chaos and the presence of military personnel and police, along with the incessant blare of sirens and the ubiquitous American flags, I felt disconnected from the somber mood enveloping the crowd. As I approached the focal point of the gathering, where someone lay in state, I realized I was unable to discern the identity of the deceased or grasp the significance of the occasion. Surrounded by strangers in a foreign land, I stood out as an anomaly amidst the sea of mourners, my lack of tears marking me as an outsider to the collective grief that engulfed them. I attempted to approach the individual lying in state, but found myself restricted from getting any closer. Despite my efforts, it became evident that this person held significant stature, likely a key figure in government given the presence of high-ranking officials such as the Vice President of the United States, governors, the chief justice, and other prominent dignitaries. The somber atmosphere underscored the profound impact of their sudden passing, revealing them to be a statesman of great influence. In the aftermath of this individual's demise, the nation was plunged into mourning, with the entire country observing a day of mourning. Everywhere I looked, there was palpable sorrow, as tears flowed freely and expressions of grief filled the air. Yet, amidst the collective mourning, I couldn't help but notice a sense of disarray, as if the absence of this leader had caused a profound disruption in the functioning of the country. It was as though time itself had come to a standstill, with people moving about in a daze, uncertain of how to proceed without the guidance of this influential figure. The impact of their absence reverberated throughout the nation, leaving a void that seemed insurmountable. Witnessing the widespread anguish and the tangible effects of one individual's absence on an entire nation was a sobering realization of the profound influence leaders hold over the lives of their constituents. The passing of this influential figure undoubtedly left a profound impact on countless lives throughout the American nation. To many, he was more than just a political leader, he was a beacon of hope, a symbol of inspiration, 
and a hero whose ideals resonated deeply. Even in his absence, people clung to the virtues and values he championed, hoping that his legacy would endure and continue to shape the course of the country. As I pondered the scene unfolding before me, I couldn't shake the sense of impending upheaval that seemed to loom over the nation in the year 2024. The passing of this figure, if not met with fervent prayer and intervention, threatened to unleash a seismic shockwave that would reverberate across the country. It was a sobering realization, one that underscored the fragility of human leadership and the unpredictability of the future. In the midst of this turmoil, the words of Scripture echoed with newfound resonance and clarity. The verse from Galatians, admonishing believers to prioritize pleasing God over seeking validation from men, took on a deeper significance. Through this vision, it became evident that placing unwavering trust in mortal leaders was inherently flawed, for their authority was finite and fallible. Instead, my faith and allegiance should be firmly anchored in God, the eternal source of wisdom and guidance. Indeed, this revelation served as a poignant reminder of the transient nature of human power and the paramount importance of entrusting our lives to the divine. While great men may rise and fall, God's sovereignty remains unshaken, and His wisdom transcends the limitations of earthly rulers. In this moment of clarity, I realize the danger of idolizing mortal leaders to the extent that their loss feels like the end of all hope. The profound sorrow and despair that engulfed the nation in the wake of this figure's passing served as a stark reminder of humanity's inherent vulnerability and dependency on divine providence. It was a wake-up call, urging me to re-evaluate where I placed my ultimate trust and to realign my priorities with God's eternal purpose. Suddenly, my reverie was interrupted by the insistent ringing of the phone, jolting me back to reality. It was my mom, calling from work, her voice breaking through the haze of the vision and grounding me once more in the present moment. Yet, the echoes of the revelation lingered, serving as a constant reminder of the profound truths unveiled in that fleeting glimpse of the future. I appeal to all Christians across the globe to unite in prayer for the preservation of the life of this esteemed individual. It is my heartfelt conviction that his continued presence is crucial to averting potential upheaval that could bring widespread frustration and turmoil. Moreover, let us intercede for the hearts of American citizens, that they may be guided to place their trust not in fallible human leaders, but in the unwavering faithfulness of God.